I am back at Fractured Art Glass Studio, where you can create your own masterpieces with your two hands. This is a DIY, do-it-yourself studio that is so much fun. Last time I was here, I created this fractured art piece of work using broken glass, jewels, and so much more. Now today, we're going to decorate a charcuterie board and make it all sparkly and pretty. Let's do it. I am back at Fractured Art Glass Studio talking to owner Amanda Hildenbrand. Hi, Amanda. Hi. <laughs> so we had so much fun making fractured art glass pieces and artwork, which is so great. And today we're going to explore making charcuterie board creations. Yes. <laughs> so start off by sharing with us again a bit about your business. Yeah, so um, along with the glass art, we do charcuterie boards or decorative boards or you can use them as trays, Lazy Susans. Um, so we use resin, we use eye candy mica powder and food grade non-toxic BPA-free resin mm -hmm. so um, that we can use one side sometimes for cutting and one side for serving and entertaining, yes. or you can just use it as a decorative piece. Right, which is so cool. And I'm sure you guys are thinking like, what, a painted charcuterie board? Because that was the first <laughs> yeah. question I asked Amanda when I saw it. I said, wait, so you can paint the board and also eat off of it. Yeah. And you said that the materials that you use are non-toxic and they are able to be used because they are yes. um, BPA free. Yes. Yep. Share more about Food that. Food grade resin. Mm -hmm. um, we use the clear tabletop resin, BPA, mm -hmm. high grade. Um, it cures within 12 to 24 hours okay. and then it, you can use it. You don't want to cut on it because you would be able to cut through it. Okay. Um, but it's non-toxic and the place in Florida is actually making wine glasses now with them. Wow. And putting little beach waves inside the glasses so you can drink your wine out of that. Yeah. I'm going to get into that pretty soon, yes. but <laughs> it'll be a future it project. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love it. And this is just the perfect way to entertain in a unique way. Mm -hmm. Take your entertainment level a notch up by having your own custom charcuterie board. And how did you come up with this concept to introduce it to your studio? Yeah, so same concept in the place I went to in Florida. They do mm -hmm. a lot of wave boards and custom charcuterie oh, boards. Cool. Mm -hmm. So that was along with the glass art. Um, when I did my training, we trained on that as well. Okay, yes. well you guys know I love a charcuterie <laughs> board. So yeah. let's get started okay. designing our own. Okay, Amanda, I'm so excited to decorate this charcuterie board. Where do we start? I'm excited for you to do it. First things first, gloves. gloves okay. So there's gloves right there. Yes. And I keep a box whenever I have a class right on the table because we may go through multiple pairs of gloves. That's okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, things get sticky and we're using different instruments, so we take them off and put them back on a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so we pre-mix our resin. We mix for three minutes. And we will now start to get our colors out. So I just am going to have you pick three colors and an accent color or just three colors. Ooh. I pulled a few that go with this board pretty yes. well. Oh my goodness. Um, so this is, this is probably this color. So like this is handle. a bronze. That bronze. Okay. And this is a rose gold. Yes. This is considered rose gold, but okay. I think it's a little bit. Um, and then I have brown. I have a shoe copper and then a huh. pink. Um, a white, and then this is just like a gold glitter. Oh, this is going to be hard. So yeah. Good ones. Okay, for <laughs> sure the bronze. For okay. For sure the um, rose gold. Okay. And ooh, I'm like thinking if I should blend that with gold or maybe a brown would mm -hmm. kind of calm the colors down a little bit. I do love the brown with that combination. Yeah. Okay, then let's do the brown. Okay. I'll take your advice. And then for the accent color, who? Do I have to choose that right now? You don't have to. Okay, let's wait, because okay. I want to see if the pink will pop with it or okay. the gold. Sounds great. Okay. So I'm going to um, give you a cup here, and I'm going to give you some of the powder. And we are going to scoop some and mix it up. Okay. So I'll show you about the amount. You're going to take, it's very technical, about that much, okay. and put it in your cup. Okay. So this much? Uh, a little bit too much. Knock some of that off, just a little bit. There you go. Okay. All right in there. Wonderful. If you get too much powder, it just doesn't mix very well. Okay. It's not going to really hurt anything. This is kind of flaky, okay. so yes. I just do that. And then we're going to put some of this in here, and we will mix them up. 
So depending on my board, I have eight ounces of resin here. So I like to leave a little clear in the bucket just in case I need it. Okay. Um, yep, we'll start mixing those. Okay. I'll pour this in there. Wow. All right, so we'll start mixing those up. And you'll see the color just come right in. It will look really pretty. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now what we do is we decide how we're going to pour it. And this one, oh, this one is the bronze. Yes. And that one's going to be a little bit, you're going to see the wood through it a little bit. Yeah. Okay. It's very pretty. So let's get started with okay. the brown. And so literally, you I'm just pouring. Yes, so you're gonna pinch the cup off. This is gonna be like your little pouring tool. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna hold this back with your finger. Okay. The other options are you can use the stick if you mm -hmm. wanna ribbon it oh, drizzle. and okay. drizzle it around. Mm -hmm. So there we right. go. Awesome. And, and am I, is my goal to cover the whole It's whatever portion. you want it to be. You don't have to cover the whole board if you don't want to, but you can if you want to. Okay. Is it okay if a little bit drips over? Yep. Okay. And then do I continue with You're this or do I need to um, switch colors at some point? It's totally up to you if you want to put any kind of, yeah, if you want to put any kind of colors in there, then you would just leave that open. And then do I need to fully fill it? You don't have to, you don't have to use all of that if you okay. feel like you have enough of that color on there. Because blow drying, it does kind of spread it out a yeah. little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Very nice. All right, I put a little bit more up here. And then if you just want to set the cup up there, you can, or you can set it wherever. Okay. Ooh. Nice. So it'll drip over the edge there. Okay. And then which one do you want next? The camera <laughs> okay, start this pink one up here. Da 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 yeah. da 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> So now we're gonna grab the hair dryer there. My goal is to spread it. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so what we usually do is if you hold it upside down, I'll show you here, uh -huh. um, like this, mm -hmm. you can get more movement of your resin that way. Okay. Very nice. And if it's also, if it's not moving as far as you want it to, you can yeah, use your finger or a stick to kind oh, of push okay, it yeah. around. And then it and will then move around for you. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Maybe I can add a little do to do of gold okay. around. Yeah. yeah. The torch, which this is my torch. favorite part. Oh, and what does this do? <laughs> so it's going to make your resin all clear. Okay. Right now, it looks pretty, but it's mm -hmm. got a lot of these bubbles in it. Yes. So we use this to mm -hmm. clear those bubbles. So okay. I will turn it on for you here. You turn it to open, and I just make sure it's only halfway because we don't want the flame too high. And then you're going to quickly take it over to lose some of the bubbles. Okay. Like that. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're just close enough to see the bubbles pop, but not smoke the resin. All 
Okay, so getting the bubbles out, and you say periodically putting the torch over it to reduce the bubbles? Yes. Okay. Yes. Look at this! <laughs> I am so excited. Like, I can't even explain to you, Amanda. This is so, so pretty. cool. <laughs> <laughs> and just, it just is so professional and just so classy. Yeah. And I made this. Oh my God. Okay. I'm just in awe. And yes. now we get to make some really cool accessories to go with the charcuterie board. Yes. Coasters. Coasters. With the same stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm just pouring and trying to get whatever blend I want. Yes. So you can pour, you can pour them stripes or you can pour it in the center and work it around. Mm -hmm. It's totally up to you. Okay. I have an idea. So let's see. So can I actually yeah. bring these in yep. like this? Okay. Angled, love it. And we'll also use the torch on these two to get the bubbles. all day yeah. okay how <laughs> okay okay i think i'm done with my coasters all right we're just gonna torch, torch them. them okay there it is pretty look at the sparkles <laughs> yes oh, <laughs> you did great i did it oh thank you amanda wow <laughs> this is so awesome okay so we just made a beautifully resin designed charcuterie board with matching coasters. Yes. And this is a class. So yes. people can come in with their friends. They can do a party. Tell us about yes. what all you offer that people can do what I just did. Yes. So you can come in with your friends. Um, if you have six or more people, there is a discount for a group or a party rate. Uh, everyone picks their own colors, picks their own board, does their own thing. It's your own artistic work, so everybody's not going to do the same thing. But mm -hmm. we are excited to be open and excited to make some charcuterie boards. Yes, so <laughs> great. And as you said, you have your charcuterie board with your cheese and your meats on it, and then you have a little wine glass yes. on your coaster to enjoy the summer. I have to say, I am so impressed by your classes <laughs> and just you. what you have to offer. It's so unique and different and just really adding an extra level of creativity, an extra level of creativity. So thank you so yes. much, Amanda. Thank you. We appreciate it. If you would like more information about Fractured Art Glass Studio and learn how to make a charcuterie board that's decorated, coasters that are decorated, and just have a ball of fun. We'll be sure to list their website below so that you can make your appointment, and we'll be right back.